people. Welcome, everybody. This is Microsoft 365 Feature Demo Show, where we talk about all of the latest and greatest capabilities in Microsoft 365 across the SharePoint and Teams and all of the Copilot and all of the AI-powered stuff as well. And today, we have a really, really cool AI-powered capability um, as part of the Microsoft 365 Copilot together with SharePoint. Before we go there, my name is Cesar Juvaren. I'm a principal product manager uh, from Microsoft side. And the real star of the day is Jackie. Can you do a quick intro as who you are and what do we actually see today? Yeah, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Jackie, the principal product manager from the SharePoint product team. So over the past years, we have been on an incredible journey to bring in Copilot to SharePoint from page creations to rich text edit to web part. So helping people to go from a blank page to beautiful, engaging pages in seconds. And today, I'm really excited to share the next chapters of the journey, the SharePoint page agents. Now, let's recap that a bit. So for anybody who's not up to date, you should definitely check out if you have the Copilot license, uh, you can actually use the AI to create your SharePoint pages within a matter of seconds. It's, it's beautiful. Absolutely brilliant implementation. Thank you, Jackie, on that one and the team behind of the implementation because you can feed the site creation, just source files or meeting notes, and it will just create everything for you. It's brilliant. Uh, but now we're talking about SharePoint page agent. So what is the difference between uh, the SharePoint page agent and then the AI created uh, page experience? So this is a really good uh, question. So Copilot SharePoint for page creation has been amazing for directing content directly inside the SharePoint canvas. But often, people work in different workflows. For example, turning a meeting recap into a SharePoint news post or transforming a Word document into a SharePoint pages or summarize your top of mind thoughts into a communication newsletters. So this is where the page agent comes in. Think of it as your SharePoint expert that lives across Microsoft 365 in Copilot Chat, in Teams, in Word, or even in PowerPoint Copilot. So whenever you are working, all the agents will meet you there. So you no longer need to break your flow or switch apps just to create a page. It becomes part of how you think to collaborate and move uh, work forward, not just a tool you open and when you are ready to publish. And it's yeah. currently under the Frontier program right now. Now, let's talk about that one before we go to the live demos. First of all, you said that it's actually in the Copilot chat, also in Word and Office. So, so we can kind of imagine uh, that when you are in Word, you can just open up the Copilot and chat and say, hey, I want to create a page from this. Is that the case then? Yes. So that's, that's a very exciting. There's a, a special features called Catalyst in uh, Microsoft Copilot, uh, which means it uses the same Microsoft uh, strictly five Copilot chat experience within different Copilot uh, apps. So in yeah. Teams, Copilot is in Word Copilot and Powerpoint Copilot, you can use the agents without any problem. Yeah, really, really cool. That's that's actually, like you said, that's going to streamline the, the creation of content and the, the way we work uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I want to call out the Frontier program uh, just to explain that one as well. So Frontier program is something where customers who want to opt in, it's an opt-in program uh, where the customers who want to be in the leading edge of AI, uh, they get access on this capability. So just to be super clear, uh, whatever you're seeing within the live demo is not available for everybody right now. Um, we will update that situation in roadmap tracking uh, all the time. But if you are in the Frontier program, you should be if you're interested um you will actually see this capability available uh is it soon or pretty really really soon <laughs> or is it available already in front of what's the situation right, in, yeah in the coming night demos uh not only will announce this uh the showpoint page agents but also it will be public available for frontier yes. uh, yes. customers so if you're yes, interested absolutely. in that you can install it Absolutely. Really cool. Thank you, Chucky. And for anybody who's watching this after Ignite, we're recording this a bit um, before Ignite. Uh, it is definitely available in the Frontier program already. And it might be that we're already rolling out more widely, depending again on which year or month you're watching the video. Now, let's move into the live demo and let's have a look on what does that mean in practice. So what is the SharePoint agent, uh, uh, page agent, uh, and how we can actually use it directly within the Microsoft 365 Copilot. Mm -hmm. So Chucky, mm -hmm. take it away. Yeah. So let's dive in. So you can use the SharePoint page agent in a few different ways. But first, you need to install it. So you need to install it from the agent store. Uh, when you select the agent, uh, all agents from the M65 Copilot chat, and uh, just do a quick search. And you will see the SharePoint page agent. Uh, to install that, then you are ready to go. 
And once you install it, you can use it directly uh, like other agents, such as researchers or analysts starting with the conversation uh, starters. Uh, for example, you can recap your meet, uh, weekly briefing, or uh, recap your meetings, or do the project updates for them. Uh, you can also invoke it, just like I mentioned, in different uh, compilers, especially the compiler chat experience. Uh, this is a mainline uh, M65 compiler chat. Uh, simply, you just simply mention it to invoke the uh, agent, and you are ready to go. And then you can tap whatever prompt you like. Uh, for example, I want to create a product page about a product launch, and uh, including three reference documents. And the agent will help you to get your content uh, here. So um, once it is uh, finished, you can also make edits through the vibe tuning. For example, um, I, it looks good, but I want to add a too long don't read sections uh, for that. So I, I skipped up uh, to uh, in the favor of the time. And once it's ready, you can select a site you want to create the page uh, on. For example, help me to select a short point uh, site for that. And then it will show up the, the site picker for you to select your recent sites, or you can do a search, of course, at the same time. Confirm. And then the agent will prepare the page card for you. Uh, once the page card is ready, you can click to open uh, in SharePoint and to finalize your page. You can do for the editing or publish the page automatically. And the same experience will be across all Copilot apps, including Word, Teams, and the um, the PowerPoint, of course, at the same time. Uh, okay, the page card's ready. Once you click that, uh, you navigate you through the uh, SharePoint Canvas, and now uh, it will uh, turn the, the the page into edit mode to convert the content from the uh, M sixty five Copilot chat and into the pages, and create that for you. Okay, so this is exactly the same content from the M65 Copilot chat, uh, uh, the, the content here. Of course, uh, once you keep it, you like it, you keep it, you can continue to do uh, further iterations. For example, we have AI feature here for you to you know, continue to refine the content from the rich text yeah. editor, or if you want to add AI sections uh, here. So basically, this is the, the um, the features for the SharePoint page agents uh, can do. Really, really cool. And and, and of course, uh, this you can have, again, recapping what Chuck is saying, you, you can have a discussion in the chat, uh, in the Copilot chat. And whenever you're happy on what you have there as the draft base, then you can initiate the creation. Or alternatively, this is this is a really good example of how we're enabling customers to choose how they use the Copilot and AI, because you can continue editing directly with Copilot in the page uh, canvas. So um, it's a really good example on, depending on user preference, you can continue working in chat, or you can actually continue working with AI directly in a page. So. Right, I, I can share uh, some uh, very, uh, my favorite use cases for really excite me, you know, about the yes. possibility of this unlocks. So imagine you know, in a long Teams chat, you know, a, a you know, team group chat regarding the projects, uh, it has lots of discussion on the key decisions, you know, how the issues, how to mitigate those issues, now you can automatically recap those key decision maps, the to-do items and owners, and the agents can turn the conversation into a polished project update pages. So this yes. is very helpful for that. Or you can prepare a weekly leadership updates. You know, the agent can use the MCC Fire chat to compile a structured newsletters, putting the insights from your email, the team's message and documents from, from the past week and create a table mind uh, communication newsletters. So this yep. is uh, some very useful uh, use cases. We are also exploring advanced use cases. Uh, for yep. example, the schedule task. For example, you can automatically convert in a review meeting summary into a SharePoint news post every Thursday at 10 a.m. Or you can integrate with your complex workflow. Yeah. No, that's actually a really, really good idea. So that's the kind of a feature roadmap stuff, right? Uh, so you mm -hmm. can actually start doing, in quotes, uh, autonomous agents to task and auto-generate the weekly reports 
to be pages, which potentially can be then published uh, on the right time and getting distributed uh, for the organization. Mm -hmm. So that's incredibly powerful uh, capability on the, on the thing. Um, I think we went through the live demo section, right? Uh, just confirming. Um, so uh, there was nothing additional on your side on, on the demo side. Check it. Uh, yes, uh, I also want to talk about a roadmap. OK, uh, regarding the uh, the coming roadmap, uh, it's very exciting. So uh, just like you you just so it's likely giving every team their own digital content partners, or it's after they also ready to draft the pages for you. So another exciting area we're working on is the agent's deal features. So unlike agent mode, where you co-edit the content directly in Copilot apps, the agent's deal uh, lets you stay in MC Certified Copilot chat uh, while working with the SharePoint pages. Uh, the, while working with the SharePoint uh, page agents on the SharePoint pages without switching to the full SharePoint canvas. So this, uh, let me show you some sneak previews. So if you look at the page card here, so we have a side-by-side -side preview features. When you click that, uh, not only uh, it will show you the page being created. This is a temporary because this is a preview features. Uh, so yeah. you don't need to go to the SharePoint page directly uh, to see the contents. You can also uh, do some vibe editing here. For example, I want to add a uh, few web parts for this. I want to add a link to web parts and the uh, people web part uh, for that. And the SharePoint page agents will handle that for you. you know, just thinking about, you know, uh, res resonate about that and add the content for you. So I think that the best part for this is that this is a, a preview instead of the physical pages is being created. So it's uh, yes. way faster. Before the page created, you can you know continue to verify if this is the content you like. And also at the same time, uh, you can easily to add web parts you like. So for example, it could be a people web part, it could be a link web part, it could be an image web parts uh, based on your requirements. Okay, and you can see uh, the uh, the links web parts and people web parts are added here. Yeah. So this is you know the sneak preview uh, for the features. Of course, you can continue to edit in SharePoint or just you know uh, close that uh, back to your page card. Yeah, that's a really cool feature. Which is um, and again, I love the fact that you are in the context of the copilot still and we give you the preview on the right side. So you're not flipping between the content or the experiences and application. You can actually access all of that directly within the same UX, which is really good. Um, and again, it's a matter of an opinion. Just recapping, uh, if I go back on the on this mode, it's a matter of an opinion. Do you continue evolving things directly in SharePoint, or do you keep on evolving things in the chat? But uh, both options will be available uh, for end users. Um, and and again, just recapping all of these capabilities which you saw on the video are in right now as the video is getting out part of the Microsoft Frontier program. This is not available for uh, people uh, outside of that program. If you're interested, check that program out. And um, that's for the leading edge AI capabilities, but you need, it's an opt-in program. But I guess that's it uh, for now, Jackie, uh, mm -hmm. on, on this particular feature. Um, super excited capabilities. Awesome to see the deep integration between M365 Copilot and also SharePoint. And, and this is only a start. We did show you some of the roadmap features, some of the future stuff. Uh, but this is going to keep on going and going and going. So we can see a lot of interesting scenarios uh, with AI integration also in future. Yeah, thank you for having me today. Very Thank you, exciting. Jackie. Thank you for joining. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And we'll be back within the, this show uh, sooner or later. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Thank you.